So the these guys are seven inches across for the uh, American listeners. And just under 18 centimeters across in metric, slightly under seven centimeters height. All right, so let's get to it. Looking for a soft, elegant curve. to the lines with a little perspective. Kind of like this size because you can start to get into a lot more subtlety with that's an odd looking. Shape back there. You can get into a lot more subtlety and a lot more interest. I don't like the way that I don't want to have a, a shape or a hill like I've got out here and then cap it off here. So let's just keep it contained within the shape. It's like having, God rest his soul, you don't want to do a Bob Ross and have one tree here and then one tree here. So you don't want to have, you don't want to do that and then do that unless you've got a deliberate central composition and there's a reason for it. Uh, Luc Besson, composes pretty much centrally. If you look at all of his movies, almost every shot is composed centrally. By the way, if you hear me, I've got my cup of coffee. Um, Luc Besson may have, say, two characters in the scene. Now, they may be dead central like that, within the frame. Or they may be a central character and a second character. And even though th both together are not central, one of the characters is. So next time you're watching Luke Besson movie, notice that even in the fifth element where the um, scene with the six cabs, you had two buildings either side, you're looking down a, a street with all the flying cabs and flying cop cars, and you'll see the six cop cars waiting. It's dead central. Everything's dead central. It goes uh, slightly counter to everything that we've ever been told about composition. But it's his thing. That's what he does. And that's okay. that down a little bit. Once you've got the composition worked out and you're happy with it, 
and you know where you're going. The fun part is then taking this to the next level. It's now adding adding details and adding all the fun stuff that you, you weren't thinking about before. And Now, with these drawings, I don't do a lot of pencil shading at this stage because a lot of the shading will come from the, the markers. I might do some pen, some very slight pencil rendering, uh, graphite pencil rendering to get in a gray value here and there perhaps, but um, not, not a lot. It's, it's mostly, just think of the, the pencil stage in, in a comic book. It's just pencils and, and not much else. Composition doesn't just mean the overall composition within a frame. Like this is somewhat divided into the thirds. I'm not I'm not deliberately or consciously doing a rule of thirds situation, but there's a rule of thirds happening here. Um, this this object, I'm gonna I'm gonna call this the face. This is the face on Mars. Seen from some sort of low oblique angle, we'll call it. Where it's Cydonia. But composition also applies to things like where you put things like rocks and how big are they and how many and what, what is the what is the variation in the scaling and size and you don't want too much repetition, you don't want too much to look the same. And as I tell some of my students, I tell all my students, composition which I heard from an artist, an American artist, he stated this perfectly. Um, And I can't remember his name. It'll come to me. The composition is not dum 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 dum. Composition is dum diddy dum dum. There's a rhythm to it. And so you don't want it all the same. Okay, now I'm going to keep most of. Let's get some contour lines in this guy here. Suggest. I know this may be quite, it's very subtle, these lines. I'll strengthen them up a little bit for the video. And hopefully you guys can see them okay. Just don't want them. The idea is not to be too full on with the pencils at this stage because I'm going to go over these in ink. even move this move the face a little more to the side let's stiffen that up a little bit to move it over. Do something else with it there. Okay, just remind myself that these guys back here are distant hills or mountains.
One thing I'm going to do with this particular one, given that we've got plenty of real estate here at Sky, I want to start suggesting those, those billowing clouds that, that were uh, mentioned in the, in the brief. But perhaps somewhere this, this process is going on all over Mars. Does add a level of compositional change to it. And being steam, it, it will tend to um, fade out. It dissipates into the air. Let's throw one of our astronaut guys. Yeah, at that scale, it's like almost a Feel on that one. Okay, well, I'm going to call that one almost in. I might just suggest a few, few other rocks and things up here because there's Mars is strewn with this stuff. Keep it pretty subtle. I don't want to go crazy. Okay. I'm going to call that one quits in terms of the, or as far as the pencil drawing goes.